Mike Trudell will be handling the post-game duties, and we're going to get some sound tonight, hopefully. Um, where do I begin? Lakers lose in embarrassing fashion to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City's first win of the year. They were up 26 with two minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. At the end of the third, they were down to 97 to 95. So they were outscored 53 to 25 in that span. They were up 41-19 after one, Rob. After one, from that point on, they were outscored by 30 points, 104 to 74. You know, it's, 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 it's weird because you, when you watch this game and you watch the way the Lakers came out, they jumped on them from the beginning. And then all of a sudden, they start laughing, they start joking. They wasn't taking this team serious. You know, that's a professional basketball team. They might be young, but all those guys have pride. And next thing you know, they caught a little attitude. And that little attitude made them start moving the ball, start them attacking them. And by that time, the Lakers were comfortable. They caught them, they caught them very comfortable. Next thing you know, they start punching them in the mouth. And the Lakers was like fiberglass, and they, couldn't, they didn't know what to do with that. So you look at this game, and hopefully it's a learning point for the Lakers that you have to take each and every possession serious because this is allegedly the worst team in basketball. You still have to go out and play this game every quarter like it's your last. And they didn't do that. They did it one quarter, then they thought the game was over. One of you, when we were watching the game and saw it slipping away, made a great point. When you turn that focus off and you've already relaxed, mm -hmm. it is hard, especially at this level, which you two have played in, mm -hmm. to get it back. Yeah, as an athlete, you're, you're trained to conjure up energy and, you know, be focused in basketball for 48 minutes. And you, you have to finish the job. Regardless of who you're playing, you cannot disrespect the worst team in the league. In fact, you make sure you put them away like, and let them know that they don't have a chance. And I think the Lakers came out with that mentality, but... I don't know what happened. They kind of just disrespected these young guys. And I, I heard Steve Kerr say the other day, they're capable of beating teams if, if you don't play your game. And I think this, this, I don't know. I've seen a lot of Lakers losses. This might have been like the worst loss I've seen. Because you're up 26, it, it, right? It, it just the sucked first half. that they have this mentality that they can't finish games and they think that teams are going to just lay down for them. And, uh, they got to change that. They, I mean, that, this was really ugly. I don't have a whole lot to say. I'd put him on Greyhound and let him drive back to, to L.A. and think about it. Because you just, you cannot perform like that. You can't be a Laker and play like they did tonight. There's a lot of details, a lot of stuff, stats and all that. But that's a mindset. And they don't have it yet. And if they, they don't change some. And I know it's early in the season. People say they're going to get it together. But this wasn't one of those games. They, they, they should have won this game. And it's just the disrespect that they showed for uh, Oklahoma by not being professional and finishing the job is it's not Laker style. It's, you know, they, they, they got to figure out. They got to figure out some stuff. The last shot by Monk, I don't know what that was. It was crazy. Yeah, two air ball threes in that final uh, stanza there. Uh, Carmelo as well. Uh, I don't know where to start. I mean, James, definitely some, some words there. Uh, I appreciate what you said. Uh, you look at the, the Laker defense. It's been a problem, really, from the start of the season. This team was averaging 94 and a half points a game. They had 97 going into the fourth quarter. So there's defensive breakdowns all along. This team was losing games by 18 and a half points. This team was 0-4. If you're up this much against, you know, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Utah, okay, a team like that can come back on you because those are solid fundamental teams. This team's average player is 23 years old. That's way too much inexperience to, to have a comeback like this. You can look at the comparisons between the first half and the second half. And I sat in this seat at halftime and I said it was the best offensive performance of the year to date. And, and I believed that. It was 72 points. Uh, they had shot 62% from the field. They were 50% from three. Very efficient. Not a high volume. 7 of 14. The ball was moving. 20 assists. You look at the second half. Ball was sticking. Rob called it immediately. Just nine assists. Four of 21 from three. 38% and just 43 points. But guys, for me, it still comes down to defensively. Uh, not a lot of resistance. Not a lot of closing out. To me, that's a lot of effort. Rob, I mean, you're all capable defenders. You're playing the youngest team in the league. You see it slipping away. If your offense is not clicking and, and, and you've gone cold, you can still do one thing, and that's defend. 
correct? Yeah, you can bear down and play good defense. Um, and if you watch OKC's offense, it went simple. Mm -hmm. They simplified everything. They just did pick and yep. roll, and they just drove, kick, and then the guy shot the ball, or he drove, kick. Uh, vice versa. It's so many things like that that happen in the game. And then you watch the Lakers offense, it was go to AD. AD squares up, holds the ball for two or three seconds, then tries to make a move while the defense is eyeballing you, looking at you, and then they collapse. And then our shooters were getting the ball too late to like shoot a good shot. And that's what you have to look at the offense, because offense sometimes leads to good defense. I know back when James and I played, it was defense led to offense, but this era is more, it's opposite. It's offense leads to defense, because when the Lakers were scoring, they were up the and they were doing anything because they was feeling good about themselves. But once they stopped scoring, they started pointing fingers like help me on defense and doing things of that nature. So you really have to bear down. I think in a situation like that, every time they ran the pick and roll, because if you look at OKC, they're all the same size players. Yep. They should have just switched everything, got up in those guys. So you know what? You're not getting to the paint. You're going to shoot some outside shots that are contested. And you got to give OKC credit for adjusting. They did a nice job offensively. Giddy had a, a season-high 10 assists. They had a season-high in points. Rob said they went to a simple pick and roll. They, they knew they could exploit the Lakers. And also defensively, they really packed it in. They weren't going to let Russ get downhill. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and they forced the Lakers to really not attack James. Because when you look at free throws... 29 for OKC, and it was 10 for the Lakers until that final minute. So it ended at 14, but that just kind of tells you where their mindset was offensively from about that second quarter on. Yeah, I, I, I think Oklahoma, you know, I, I think they, they kind of figured out that the Lakers really weren't playing great defense. And, 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 and to go along with that, they didn't really feel like they, you know, were respecting them at all, the, you know, just the way they were playing the game. Um, I don't know, man. I, it was just pretty ugly. And, and I think the Lakers are going to have to really think about how they want to play and, you know, to, to, to lose to Oklahoma after being up 26, not getting to the line, not moving the ball, not playing defense. That was, I just don't know what to say, Braz. I'm, I'm kind of ready to go home and, 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 and just forget about it. It was ugly. Yeah. I don't have much the to game say. You're only this. in the A block, too. You can't go home. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I just think, you know, I mean, it was ugly. The yeah. whole the, the, from chair me. segment. Uh, Brez, um, what happened or what did you see going down with the Russ situation kind of at the end of that game, final seconds? OKC okay, so gets the steal, the dunk. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a good throw by uh, Rondo, or maybe he needed someone to come back and grab the ball. Miscommunication there, whatever it was. Baisley, a young kid. This team is very, very young. Grabbed the ball. Still five seconds left. So he went, saw an open court, and went for the dunk. And Russ did not like it. Not at all. Russ, he was going to have some uh, sentiments here. He played here all those years. Um, Jack of the Box halftime report. Lakers up 16 in OKC. Let's get you out in with the foul. The Lakers with their best offensive half of the year 72 to 56 ad with 15 carmelo with 10 russ with seven nine excuse me 10 lakers have already scored so far tonight more to come on the jack of the box halftime report russ is rolling lakers have led by as many as 26 but a late okc run has it down to 16 at the break Laker dominance 72 to 56 how about this shooting 62 percent 50% from three, 20 assists, and a 41-point first quarter. The bench is getting it done with 30, and they're attacking in the paint, 38 to 26. Russell Westbrook in the home paint. Big game, check this out. Players with 7,000 rebounds, 7,000 assists in NBA history. How about those names? Big O, J Kid, LeBron. It's a great class of people to be with, and Westbrook right there. I tell you, as intense as he is attacking, the way he attacks the game, such a willing passer, always looking for uh, his teammates. And uh, the, the 10 assists in the first half was indicative of just how critical he is. you got to play to his pace. You get in the right spots, he'll find you. Monk's finding that out. Uh, you roll to the bucket, he's going to get you the lob. Guys are understanding that if you do the right thing, he'll get it done. Malik Monk is doing a nice job in the starting lineup. A long-range three late last night, tonight, an eye-opening jam. Athletic. He has seven as a late little OKC run. Uh, don't take this team for granted. Go get, get back out there. Put your foot to the pedal. Attack, attack, attack. Keep the ball moving. When yeah. the ball was moving, they were very successful. Sometimes they want to isolate, uh, uh, ISO AD. Sometimes they stop moving it. 
keep it moving. It was popping really good. You got everyone in. It's been a fun game. Yeah. If you can take care of business here in the third, you get a lot of guys some rest. Come back home. Get ready for Cleveland on Friday. That does it for us in the Jack in the Box Halftime Report. It's process. It's just every time he's in a, in a Laker uniform with this group, with our system, um, you know, he just gets a, a, a chance to get a little more familiar. And, um, you know, obviously he was terrific, especially down the stretch. Um, you know, 33, 8, and 10. And, um, you know, really orchestrated the offense uh, down the stretch. Had some great plays throughout the game uh, with AD uh, and with, with our bigs, you know, lobbing the ball to the basket. But, you know, really just, I think he slowed down, you know, uh, you know, just a little bit in terms of his pain attacks. And, um, you know, to play 39 minutes um, with only three turnovers is a hell of a night with ball security. 